Greetings and salutations. This is Johnny Mac from Rock and Metal Plus. Um, I thought I'd do another review, because why not? That's kind of what the show's all about, right? Um, so, um, if you know me, probably do, because I think there's only people that watch this are people that actually know me. So, anyway, since you do know me, um, you'll know I got a bit obsessed with this band. Either. So, not sure if you know the uh, background between me and my falling in love, as it were, with uh, with Creeper. But um, basically, me and my mate Daz took our respective daughters to see local band Done Good, Neck Deep, play in Manchester, and on the sport acts then. Happened to be this little band called Creeper. Never heard of them. We were quite happily standing at the bar, chatting away as the support tanks came along with their jangly pop punk tunes. And the band came on the stage and they were different. They had leather jackets and skinny jeans and sort of guy lighter and they had a, a girl playing keyboards and, and they just had different so song structures. They were very punky, they reminded me of an early AFI, that sort of style. A little bit of UK punk pushed in there as well. A little bit of goth, a little bit of emo. It just seemed to, it wasn't pop punk and it was different and they had a stage presence and they looked awesome. Anyway, fast forward a million years, uh, got to see them many, many times. And uh, obviously last year their second album came out. Um, very good. And then we had a pandemic, and everybody presumed we I still haven't seen them two on the uh, the last album. Uh, got my ticket. Hopefully, get to see them in December in uh, Manchester. But um, the album came out, and they didn't tour with it. And, that, and I get the impression that singer Will Gould got a bit bored. He had a chat with one of his mates, a gentleman called Matt Reynolds. Cracking guitarist apparently, they were chatting about bits of bobs and decided to like some songs in between because they couldn't tour, I guess. Um, got themselves a, a bass player and a drummer, um, wrote a stack of songs and decided to call themselves Salem, as you do. And um, it's they brought out one EP last year, which was the Salem EP. Basically they're both called Salem, I think it's a Salem, Salem one. Um, which you can see is in baby pink vinyl, of course, because that's the kind of aesthetic they're going for. Uh, so we've got some logo, some cool lyrics. Um, yeah, fall out of love, destroy me, throw doom for each other. I saw. Um, Five songs, absolutely stunning. Uh, basically, sounded like this first click of the EP. Um, it was, it was, it was almost like the later Creeper stuff was as was produced by Jim Steinman, and it seemed like it was anyway it obviously wasn't but it, it was more theatrical um the, set, the last album reminded me of the, the damned if i'm honest and um, it, it's almost like they started off as a punk band and moved into a gothic band like the, the damned did but uh yeah so so this is salem back to it now that was out last year this year a month or so ago yeah salem too just Salem, as it's called. Um, same sort of thing again. Uh, leather sheet. Um, although, this time, plain old black vinyl. Or is it? Actually, it isn't. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but it's etched on the second side. Which is always cool. Um, I've got a volleyball one which does the same. The way that's a uh, side fours etched, so very smart. Um, so 
first EP was awesome. What's the second one like? Well, it's more of the same to be honest. Um, William, it was nearly something. The actual first single, which you got a video of, you can watch most of the stuff on, on YouTube, as you do with everything these days. Draculads, absolutely brilliant. Uh, it actually reminds me of a second-day 70s punk band, and I mean that with love, because I, I like the punk bands from the 70s, especially the UK ones. And not that I've got anything against Misfits and Ramones and that. I obviously love them all. But it reminded me of the UK, you know, sort of punk, sort of uh, almost like a stiff little fingers clash sort of thing. Got a weird bit in the a slow down bit in the middle, but the, the actual core, this is very, very down sort of thing. But yeah, really good. Um, Keep the Thorns, Sweet Tooth. I oh, wonder Sweet Tooth based on the new um, Netflix series, mm. which is obviously based on a graphic novel. Probably not. And uh, Heaven Help Me. Yeah, no, it's all brilliant stuff. If you love, if you're the one of the people that I saw on the forums when, um, in fact, should we get me creep the albums out? There we go. Here we go. When Sex, Death and Infinite Boy came out, um, a lot of people went big fans of their change of style. But I think that's the idea with Creeper, it's always going to evolve, they're always going to be moving things on and changing styles. I think we'll look at, a, um, at these as two totally separate projects and um, I, th I think he's obviously gone. Well, there's a lot of people out there that maybe didn't like the way we've moved. Personally, I think it's great. But a lot of people preferred the more raw punk rock sound um, from the earlier stuff and that's basically what Salem is. So. These last two years, you've had best of both worlds. You've had people evolving, changing their sound, uh, and obviously when we finally get to see them, they'll obviously have changed their um, setting and all that sort of thing. Strange, you'll be gone and all that, obviously. And yeah, no, it's uh, it's brilliant, and we just I say we get best of both worlds. The, the, the Salem stuff just sounds like early creeper. Um, sweet, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. But yeah, no, I, I love all the all the creeper stuff, and I, I love the Salem stuff too. So. Uh, if you've not checked them out and you like uh, early punk rock sounding stuff, as I said, a cross between AFI type American punk rock and the lighter stuff, you know, your bad religions and all that sort of thing. That kind of sound almost moving on to sort of early my chem, maybe. Or maybe not, no, then they weren't. But like, some of them are a bit punky. You know what I mean? That sort of sound. And yeah, you're going to love this great stuff. And if you don't like it, Probably don't. Anyway, that's me done. Uh, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.